it's Stacy Sturiano. Welcome back to my channel, the number one place for entrepreneur moms with a digital presence. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to get on TikTok and use it for business purposes just so badly, but you're afraid that the app is somehow not safe, well, please let me help you out by dropping some serious knowledge. Today's video is all about how to stay safe on TikTok. So be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get real world help that entrepreneur moms like you need to succeed when you're doing business online today. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot when you do that. Now, if you're an adult who's tempted to start using TikTok for business, but you have some serious questions about doing so too, I did a video covering some of the top eight concerns that I found adults have about marketing their biz on that app. So if you missed that video, you'll want to be sure to check it out. But here in this video, we're talking about how to stay safe on TikTok. That's the ninth concern that many adults have. And look, I get it. So let me break down some facts for you and maybe that'll help you make the decision to actually get on TikTok while the huge window of opportunity for your business remains open. Up front though, you should take heart. No knowledgeable, credible source has denounced TikTok as being unsafe or super dangerous, which I'm sure helps to explain why it's recently gone on to become the most downloaded app in the world. If people, especially lots of parents, at all thought that TikTok was absolutely positively unsafe, do you really think that so many people would continue to download it? <laughs> Come on. Fact one, you can fend off any bad actors. Just like all the big apps, TikTok's no different. The app offers you ways to report abuse, delete followers who are creeps, all the usual protections you'd expect that you should have. So if someone's acting inappropriate, you don't have to sit there and take it. And it's really easy to ban, block, bless, and release those trolls, so to speak, which is great. Fact two, all apps can have vulnerabilities. Not to make you feel all paranoid or be all like tinfoil hat time, but look, every app has vulnerabilities in their code that can make them susceptible to hackers. Every single one of them. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it. In fact, cybersecurity attacks happen every 39 seconds. 300,000 new malware is created every day. Facebook as late as 2019 was noted to be under attack at least 100,000 times a day. And Facebook itself has suffered a massive security breach in recent memory. And that's just Facebook. Breaches are possible in any app or piece of software. So sure, you can get hacked no matter what type of account you have public or private. Again, if you've had a Facebook account for any period of time, you either got hacked or you knew someone who was. But like you'd expect, these hacks get reported, they get patched, software and or apps are updated and onward and upward. So look, I'm not saying to be blase or anything about the fact that this can happen. Data is simply pervasive and so are vulnerabilities that may allow it to be hacked. Credit card data can be hacked. The credit card companies can be hacked. Brick and mortar and online stores data can be hacked. Most popular apps, not just TikTok and Facebook, can be hacked, but Instagram and others too. Hospitals and doctor's offices can have data that's hacked. Insurance companies of all types can have data that's hacked. So if you're avoiding TikTok simply because you're afraid it can be hacked, theoretically, you're right, but so can anything and everything else. You need to take risks as an entrepreneur. Calculated risks, sure, but you must take risks. Whatever you're looking for in connection with having a successful business is never going to be found within the confines of your comfort zone. So please put down the tinfoil hat of paranoia and fear and join me in the common sense corner of life, okay, mama? Fact three, apps are monitored to keep them secure. This includes TikTok. TikTok, like many other companies, do what they can to keep data safe. I mean, why wouldn't they? If they didn't, they'd lose all of their viewers very quickly as word got out from credible sources about there being digital danger afoot on TikTok, don't you think? Although TikTok had a breach in the past, according to Checkpoint, a major cybersecurity company, it had addressed the breach on an expedited basis and was transparent about the situation. So if that makes you feel nervous, keep the next thing I'm about to say in mind. 
Think about this seriously. All apps want advertisers, large and small, to spend money on ads in the apps themselves because AdSense revenue can be a lucrative thing, right? Why would any app be sloppy and allow for security breaches to run rampant? Like, that's going to bring in big business for them? Of course not. Look, what company of any size wants to be associated with a dangerous or unsafe app? None. So TikTok isn't any more unsafe as of right now than any of the other bigger apps like Facebook and Instagram. And if you've got a business presence on one or both of these apps, then there's no reason why, to my mind, you shouldn't also have a presence on TikTok so that you can enjoy the sweet, sweet organic reach that the app can offer your business right now. Fact four, there are things you can do if you're breached. First off, please act immediately. If you get an email checking in to see if you recently made a change to your account and you did not, then you need to take action ASAP. Every minute counts. While you delay, the hacker is going through your data to see if they can get your personal information or change your password to lock you out. So if you can still get into your account, great. Change that password immediately to something you've never used before. If you've been locked out, all right. TikTok has a manual recovery process, so hurry on up and go through that. You'll go to the login page for TikTok and tap forgot password. That's located under the login screen. Then depending upon the information you added to your account, you'll tap on phone or email. You'll go to another screen where you'll enter that email and then you'll be sent a code via email or text. With the code in hand, you can now go to the final screen where you'll reset your password. By the way, and, and this tip doesn't just go for TikTok, Please do not rely on logging into the app by logging in from other devices. Sure, it's more convenient, but it leaves you more vulnerable, and that's not cool. So go into your profile, add your phone number and email, and then log out of the app entirely, and then log back in using your phone number or email. Voila, so much safer now, comparatively speaking. Final tip, go into your other apps, make sure they have your email and phone number in there, log out and log back in using your phone number or email. Yes, I mean do this for every single device. No more piggybacking off one device from another and you'll likely end up far safer for going the longer route than taking potentially risky shortcuts instead. Fact five, it's easy to tell if you've been hacked. You'll see that videos were deleted, but you didn't delete them. Messages are being sent, but you didn't write them. Your username changed, but you had nothing to do with that. Your password, security email, and or associated phone number were changed. Ditto. Well, the minute you change the password, if you can access your account to do so, then the hacker will be kicked out of the account immediately. Like, woo! If all else fails, contact TikTok via their in-app feedback. And to do that, you'd go to app settings and then tap report a problem. Fact six, you really can't avoid a lot of risk. Besides keeping everything I just said in mind, here's another tip I can give you to help you avoid putting your account at risk of being hacked in the first place. Do not go and get yourself hacked by going to any sites that promise you a bunch of freebies because that's like hacker heaven for sure. You go to a site and they're giving away free likes, fans, crowns, or coins, do not fall for this trap. If something appears to be too good to be true, it probably is, goes the old saying. And it's an old saying that's still being said for a reason. It's because it's still true. Even if sites like those look like they could be part of the TikTok official website, they are not. TikTok wouldn't do that. You know, violate its own terms of service, that'd be weird, or miss out on the opportunity to make money from you buying digital currency from them, that'd be dumb. So when you go to sites that make you promises of generous freebies, all you're gonna do is either get hacked, have bloatware, possess your phone, or why not, both. Oh, and if you didn't know what bloatware is, it's software that you don't want that slows down your device. And the worst part, it contains malware. Malware is malicious software that doesn't just endlessly show you pop-up ads. It can spy on you or leave you vulnerable to hackers and or spyware. Who the heck wants that? So don't go and do dumb things out there in digital land, and that's going to solve the majority of your problems. Fact seven. 
it's worth taking a calculated risk to grow your business via TikTok. Gary Vaynerchuk said it best. You've got to go where the attention is to do business today. You have to raise awareness. You have to prove that you understand your intended audience or niche by serving up content on social media, which provides value to that audience. The more value you add, the more of a valuable resource you become to them, the more likely it is that they will buy from you now or down the line. And in ever increasing numbers, your niche is showing up on TikTok. Therefore, it's my honest opinion that you should get on TikTok and you should get on it now to make the most of the unmatched organic reach that you can enjoy compared to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and so on. You do want people to see your account and you do want to interact with others on the app, meaning you especially want to interact with people from your niche. And you need to grow awareness about your business and grow your audience and your KLT factor or no like and trust factor. Because the better your KLT, the more profitable you'll be. Now make sure you hit that notification bell because in the next part of this TikTok series, I'll address some of the biggest misconceptions of having a business on TikTok. I do want you to get on the app for the sake of your business, but I want you to understand what you're going to get there and what you're not going to get there. But why that may be okay for now. So you don't want to miss that video. Again, make sure you hit that notification bell and select all so that you can follow along with this entire TikTok series that I've got to offer you. In the meantime, while you're waiting for that video, be sure to check out these two awesome videos as well. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot when you do that. And of course, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.